Bird on TV, my name is The Premium Rat and welcome back to another FIFA 16 preview video. As you guys know, we play West Brom at 3 o'clock on a Saturday. It's one of the first times we've played at 3pm on a Saturday. It might be the first time this season. Um, and it's quite rare for us to actually play at 3pm on a Saturday, generally because of the Europa League and stuff. So get your live streams sorted early and get them tweeted out. Anyway, onto the team. We've gone for Loris in goal. The normal back five of him, Rose, Vertonghen, all the way out and Walker that have been so solid this season. Two CDMs of Dyer and hopefully Deli Alley will come back in to partner him alongside. Obviously, he missed the game against Chelsea because of that suspension. And then the three behind the striker. We've gone for Eriksson on the left, Dembele at Cam and Lamella on the right. We've brought Lamella back into the side ahead of Son. Uh, didn't think Son played that well against Chelsea. Lamella came on late on and had a great impact. You cannot drop Dembele in the form that he's in at the moment. And of course, always Eriksen is a great pivotal part of our side, so you can't really drop him out. And of course, Harry Kane up front. Um, in terms of injuries still, uh, Pochettino said that Chadley and Bentaleb are close to return. Other than that, we haven't really got many people out injured, which is decent. On the bench, you've got the likes of Mason and Son will probably come on at one point. I'm not sure what the crack is with Townsend. Looks like he's going to be going out the door in January, but you may see him as well. Other than that, as always, we're going to be playing on Legendary, so we'll have to see how we get on. Here's Rose, got a bit of defending to do now against Sessignon. He's come inside. Nobody's there. Hit the f***ing post. I don't believe it. I think he was offside, actually. That might be Jakob. Ali. Eriksson. Dyer. Has he got enough room? He is going to have a strike at goal and it's going to sail over. And now here come West Brom. Vertonghen and Co. have got a bit of defending to do now. Walker has just completely mugged himself off there. And has he got enough pace to keep up with James McLean? He's done well and Dyer dropped him well and mopped it up. And here is Lamella. And he's lost it again, but he's got lucky there. And he's given away the f***ing foul. Wake up, Tottenham. Wake up. It's been shocking. James Morrison crosses it in. Who's there? Eric Dyer did very, very well because that was a bit of danger there. And it's half time and that has been f***ing dog shit. Boring. Absolutely boring. I've only had one shot and that was blazed over the top by Dyer early on. One of you win this and Rose is going to mop this up. And here's Ericsson. He's going to come back inside and go past Thingy. And he's laid it to Eric Dyer, who finds... Well, he's actually found Dembele in the end. He's going to find... Well, try to find Eriksson. Why did you not just play Eriksson there? That's where I wanted the ball to go. West Brom have kicked it right out. And this is a chance for us now to work something here on the edge of the box. But there's no movements. We've given it to Dembele, who gives it to Deli Ali, who's gone past Jakob. And Ali's going to have a strike. A goal! And he's gone into the top corner! That's what I'm talking about. Celebrating in front of the Spurs fans. We've had absolutely nothing in this game. West Brom, for some reason, just completely kicked it out of play. We had the throw in deep in their half. It fell to Eric. Uh, sorry, it fell to Dembele, who laid Ali. Got a little bit lucky against Jakob, but he's absolutely smashed that right into the top bin as chicken dinners to give us the 1 0 lead. Fairly undeserved. Right in front of the Spurs fans here, the way at the Hawthorns. And we're 1-0 up. That'll do, boys. We've still got no options, boys. No width. We've got absolutely no width. Deli Ali gets dispossessed. And now it's his turn to hunt down Jakob. And he's done very well to mug him off there. And here's Dembele. And Harry Kane's made a good run. Here is Harry Kane. Who's in the middle? He's been mugged off by James McLean. And he's given the pen. He's given the pen. I don't believe it. James McLean, I think it is. Is that a pen? Is that really a pen? I'm not sure. It's a soft pen, if I'm honest with you, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because Harry Kane's got the chance to step up and bury West Brom. We're going to go to the left. He goes left. The power beats my hill. Very soft pen, but I'm not complaining. Kane's buried it in the corner, and we've buried West Brom. 69 minutes on the clock, 2-0, and that really should be game over in a game that we've struggled to dominate, really, to be honest with you. It's been a scrappy game. Neither side have had much. And somehow we've come out 2-0 up. Referee blows up for full time then. And 2-0. Well, I would say it flattered us, to be honest with you. We, des we deserve to win in the end. But perhaps maybe not 2-0. We had a soft pen. Um, and then I can't actually... And Ali's goal, actually, it was when he skipped past Jakob and smashed it into the top corner. Um, so, you know, a game that we struggle to dominate. But that's what good sides do. They play poorly and still win. Exactly what f***ing Man United are doing at the moment. Somehow, I'm not worried about them. They're a poor side. Poor, poor side. Anyway, in terms of predictions, I can see it going the same way. It kind of depends what, what West Brom turn up, to be honest with you. Because Arsenal went there a couple of weeks ago and uh, and got beaten fairly convincing, uh, convincingly. 
But, you know, West Brom are one of those sides that can just fall apart after 15 minutes. So, we should win. We're on good form. I'll go for 2-0, 2-1, that kind of thing. Um, and hopefully we can keep the unbeaten run going. Stretch it to 14 games or 13 games unbeaten now. Always rosy at White Hart Lane. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up on it. If you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe. Um, if you're not already following either me or Spurred on TV on Twitter, go ahead and do so. The links to those will be down in the description. And if you want to check out my content, I'm sure the link to my channel will be down in the description. Apart from that, I love you all. Come on, you Spurs. And I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye. Form. I think we're really going to have to grind out this result. I don't think they want us to win. We know what's happened with Daniel Levy and Jeremy Peace. 